Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 26 and in this video we're going to talk about arrays. <laughs> okay then, so what the heck is an array? Well, an array is a single variable that can hold multiple values, okay, or multiple other variables. But the important thing is an array is stored within a single variable. So how do we create an array? Well, First things first, whenever you see these square brackets, that kind of indicates that we're using an array and that's how we create one. We just create a variable using the keyword var like any other variable and we'd say my array or whatever you want to call your variable and we set it equal to something like that. And that there, my friends, is saying I want to create an empty array. So we've created an array, but there's nothing in it currently. Now, if we want to assign a value to that array to store it in that array, we can do that. All we say is my array and then our square brackets, then within those square brackets, we'd have to specify at which position or which index we want to store um, our value at. And remember, JavaScript is a zero-based language, so we'd start always with a zero. That would be the first position in the array. So we can set the zeroth position by saying my array zero equals, I don't know, 25. And then if we call it back by saying my array position zero, we get 25. So that's stored now at position zero. Likewise, we can say my array position one, which is the next position, equals 35. And my array two, oops, two equals true. That's a Boolean. So we're storing different things in the array. I could say my array three equals hello. That's a string, right? So we can store multiple different things and various different values in an array. Now, if we wanted to call the array back to see everything that's in it, we can do that too. We can just say my array right here in the console. And that's gonna bring back every value in the array. And likewise, if you were writing in a script and you wanted to log this to the console, you'd do something like console.log and then within the brackets, say my array, just like that. And that's gonna log it to the console. And you can see all the different pockets here, zero, one, two, and three. Okay, so we can also update values, right? So currently, z uh, position two is this true, yeah? Because it goes zero, one, two. So if we wanted to change that to false, we just say my array, and then position two equals false. And then that will update this position two. So if we call my array again, just to check, yep, now you can see that this right here has changed and it's position two, false. Right, there is a quick way to write this array. Up here, we created an, uh, an empty array and then we specified each slot separately, right? Well, if we wanted to, when we declare the variable, we can specify the contents of the array right there. And to do that, I'll create a new array. I'll say var my array two equals, then we'll do the square brackets, and then we just write it out exactly as we see here, or something like that. So I'll say 10, 20, um, hi, and then false. And then that there will create your array for you. And it's already filled up positions zero to three. So if I call now my array two, you'll see all of these here have been filled up. So that is the quicker way and the way I prefer to make arrays. Now there is a third way you can create an array using the uh, new keyword and that is by saying var my array three equals new array and then the brackets. And what we're doing here is we're saying we want to create a new instance of the array object and that's going to create a new ar uh, array for us. Now this is going to have the same result as this thing would right here, okay? But this way we can specify how many slots you want in the array. So I could say var my array four equals new array, and then within the brackets we could say five, and that's gonna give us five slots within the array. Now, if we just do it this way, then we can put as many things in the array as we want. So I always prefer to use this notation or this notation if I know what's going in the array straight away. So that's how we create arrays. Now, like any other object in JavaScript, arrays also have properties and methods. And remember, methods are just functions that can be used on certain objects, right? They belong to certain objects. 
So what is a property we can use? Well, like strings, we could use the length property. So what I'll do is get my array two, which we created up there, and we'll say dot length. And let's see what that does. It returns four to us. That's because there's four items in that array, right? One, two, where is it? This one here. Uh, one, two, three, four. So you can get the length of it. So what are some of the properties, not properties, the methods we can use? Well, one method would be the sort function. So let's try that. We'll say my array two dot sort. And then this is going to sort the array um, either A to Z or low to high. Let's see what happens to it. And it goes 10, 20 faults high. OK, so if we had multiple different strings, it would sort them alphabetically. If we had multiple different numbers, it would sort them numerically, etc. Uh, we also have reverse. So if I say my array two dot reverse, then it's reversed what this is currently, which is really cool. All right. So there's many different methods we can use on arrays. Um, what I'll do is leave a link down below in the description. You can go and check that out and check all the different methods and have a play on, uh, around with those. If you have any questions whatsoever about arrays, feel free to comment down below. I'll answer all of those questions. Otherwise, if you enjoyed these videos, don't forget to subscribe so you get all the updates and like the videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.